extra minutes. How serious can food allergies be? Most of the patients that we see in the clinic here uh, have had a reaction which within six minutes they've had a full body uh, what I call firestorm where they eat that food allergen and they can either have hives or they can have wheezing or they can have throat closure or they can have their blood pressure go down and all of those within six minutes for example can cause someone to have a near fatal or unfortunately fatal reaction. And other than avoidance is there anything else we can do for food allergies? I think there are certain steps that you can take in terms of diet, uh, perhaps having more probiotics and having more vitamin D in your diet. We don't know exactly if that will uh, prevent or cure food allergies. We're not saying that. But we think in general eating a healthier diet will help people. We, we can't say that it's a therapy, but importantly, it does help in general with your health. Yeah. And what drove you to undertake this trial? Perhaps this concept of immune tolerance. And when I saw children like Tessa uh, that had multiple food allergies and she was very limited in her diet, that's what compelled me and inspired me to do research to think about how to help children with multiple food allergies. What does someone go through on the trial? So they come in and we do skin testing and blood testing and then we have them sit in a hospital bed and we have them do the food challenge. Then once we have the foods that she's allergic to, we'll start dosing Tessa in very small amounts, in grains of sand that you can hardly see. So you might put it in applesauce or something she's not allergic to, and she has to take it every day at home. The parent fills out a diary, has to call in if there's any type of reaction, and they come back within two weeks and we updose by 25%, but in a hospital setting. And then they go home again with another two weeks of dosing on perhaps a new dose. But if they have a reaction of some sort, we don't increase the dose. You have to do it slowly over time to re-educate the immune system to become non-allergic, we think. So the critical process though is that each person is a little bit different. Some people might take two years, some people might take three. And at the end of the day you're trying to get to a serving's worth of food that they can tolerate. For Tessa, up front we gave her another medicine called anti-IgE. So we used an additive therapy and Tessa got this drug which is called Zolaire. We had data already to show that it could help decrease the uh, allergic response to some degree. So for Tessa, she got eight weeks of this Zolaire before she even tried the foods. And then on the day that she tried the food, she got up to a higher dose than those people that didn't have Zolar, for example. We think that the anti-IgE or perhaps other medicines given conjunctively, given together with the immunotherapy, it might help. And it might help train the immune system to become non-allergic.